Hello there, you beautiful monsters! It is I, Wise Guy, once more for another review. This time of the MGH Wing Gundam Verka, uh, the Master Grade XXXG-01. That's a mouthful. Uh, I saw it online, and I says to myself, "Self, let's buy it and see if it's worth." Uh, your money or not so here is the unboxing a nice but simple white box because uh, don't forget this is a third party gunpla this is a bootleg and at first glance it's okay it's not it's nothing special but uh, at least it has a box and let's look inside so this kit doesn't come with water slides so i had to buy extra water slides online in order to apply them this is the manual the manual is very simple um underwhelming and uh, not very detailed so i was disappointed by the manual this is the plastic some nice red and black some yellows the colors weren't that bad but the mode was bad and the quality of the plastic also bad not very bad but uh, not good uh, also it's very it was very meh uh, it comes with the stand, at least, so that's nice. Some white, mo some more white plastic, uh, blue, some black, some red, some more blue. It doesn't have uh, two tones of blue, but it has two tones of white. And here it is, freshly panel lined, applied uh, some decals, not all of them because I didn't have a decal map, so I had to search online how this thing looks. So let's check out some articulation. The feet move left and, left and right, Fro front and back, not too much movement but okay and uh, the front foot also move uh, down this is part of transformation uh, i forgot to mention this kit transforms into a jet of some sorts this is the knee bend look how bad this looks this is the worst knee bend i have ever seen it looks really bad it's not designed well. Look how bad this looks. I was really disappointed there. Maybe I didn't build it right, but I don't think so. I, I think this is how it's designed and it's really badly designed. The front skirt moves on a bow point. Some normal movement there, nothing special. The side skirts also move uh, left and right, up and down. Oh, the back skirt also move uh, up and down, and it's connected to the side skirts. Nothing special about the backpack. These front things move. Oh, there we go. Everything falls apart, by the way. Nothing is uh, stable. So the shoulder moves. Oh, there you go again. Everything falls apart. Nothing is stable in this kid. Uh, the side blades on the shoulder move up and down. They can close up like that or you can uh, extend them, expand them. And I think it looks better that way. Once again, the shoulder moves up and down, nothing special. Doesn't look very good either. You can open those hatches up there and reveal some uh, guns, Gatling guns. Not very well designed either. Uh, it was wonky, not stable. 
the head moves uh, freely on a bow point and can do a 360. Some nice movement there. This kit may look good at first, but uh, let me tell you, it was a hassle to pose it. Uh, the blades on the side move also. The fist move in uh, 360 degrees. And the elbow also moves in 360. And front and back also. The hand, the arm has some nice articulation. But nothing special. Uh, it has some front uh, up movement, up and down but not much on the sides, left and right. Once again, it looks nice, it looks cool, but, and the decals looks uh, uh, really nice, but uh, it has some major issues in quality. The chest is alright, and that uh, front uh, see-through part also is okay, nothing special. Once again, I like how it looks, but don't let that deceive you, this kit is not very good. And this is how it looks transformed, I didn't do it myself because it was a pain, so I found that online. So let's take a look at the Twin Buster Rifle. Uh, it's a nice long uh, rifle with some minimal decals. And look at those barrels, look how nice they roll. It's like a fidget spinner. It's a stress uh, reliever. Uh, the decal on top are really nice. They came up nice. The that front part can move left, uh, front and back. Some nice articulation there. And the decals came up also nice. The fist was hard to get in there, so I never removed it. I left it there. Uh, it has some nice details, here is on the other side too, some minimal white water slides which looks nice, that yellow also looks nice. So this is, uh, these are the extra ammo packs, the barrels also move, move uh, beautifully there. And they can attach to the side of the arm like that. And it looks okay, it looks cool, I think. But at the end, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I'm not sure yet. So you can take it off like that easily. And this is the beautiful shield. One of my favorite shields, I have to say. It's a nice design and uh, you can store your saber, saber handles uh, beneath it. You can take it out like that and you can easily put it back in. You can take out the handle and attach it to the beam saber. And it looks okay, but uh, the see-through part of the beam saber in this kit, it's awful. So I didn't use it at all. I took it out and stored it back on the shield. And look how big it is. This is a huge beam saber. For the deco on the shield, I used Mark Fit from Tamiya and it worked really nicely. It snagged the water slide on the surface. And this is the wing, the beautiful wing, I have to say, uh, lies colors and it has some small articulation front and back and it could go, it can go in and out, only that middle part though, it looks beautiful and with the water slides it looks even more co cooler, look at that. This one can move a little bit too, not too much. You can pose that how you like. And here is the beam saber once again. Really bad quality, didn't use it. 
some extra yellow parts and this is all the extra parts from the stand uh, some uh, different option in the colors if you don't like the white or the blue you can switch them up you can use uh, on the shoulders or on the skirt some parts some small extra parts there some uh, hands extra hands if you like some more stand parts a lot of extra uh, parts I have to say some additional fins over there yeah this is all you get and here is the stand it's a bad kit but it comes with the stand look how nice the plate of the stand looks and nice, nice articulation too on the stand it can attach over there it's a nice one and it has uh, multiple arms if you want to attach the shield too or if you want to attach the weapon uh, it has a nice support i have nothing bad to say uh, for the stand except the size the size i think it's a little bit small but it does the job well and there you have it ladies and gentlemen a beautiful kit i have to say it looks beautiful naked like that look at that without any weapons and without any extras just pan aligned and uh, with the water slides looks really nice i have to say and it has some uh, minimal but nice articulation here's with the extra ammo pack and the with the rifle the full part with the shield too it looks cool and on the stand with the wings oh my god isn't he gorgeous but the quality of the plastic the uh, the design some parts of the design and uh, the colors are not very crisp too the mode is bad some bad un under gating uh, the water slides came up nicely i have to say but the water slides i had to buy extra because this kit doesn't come with water slides overall uh is it worth 50 bucks i think it does i'm not i'm really mixed on this kit it looks really nice and it poses nice but if you have the money buy the original one from the bandai the bandai it's top quality as always and you have a better product in the end but if you really like this kit and you're poor like me buy this version so thank you for watching next week uh, I'm reviewing a Bandai kit, a, my second real grade, so stay tuned and like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Love you guys, see ya!